officers across the Low Country are going through animal cruelty investigation training right now in hopes of changing the narrative for the animal control unit. News 2's Kate Prestack was at the Charleston County Sheriff's Office this morning to learn more. The state of South Carolina currently does not require such animal trainings, so CCSO, among other agencies in the state, have taken it upon themselves to learn more skills and knowledge. We are not dog catchers. We are full deputy sheriffs. We just happen to be on the animal control unit. From disaster response to exotic animals and even removing animals from meth labs, these officers cover it all. People have come from as far as Colorado or Portland before, so really by hosting this training, we're giving officers across the country the opportunity to, uh, to get more professional training and be better at their job. Officers attending the training, like Sergeant Kimberly Poirier with the Charleston County Sheriff's Office, says it keeps her unit sharp on investigative tactics and adds into how they can better educate those who may be offenders. What is the ordinance? What is the law? Because some people really don't know. So we give them that benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt comes with a follow up, and while many times people do the right things, citations and other penalties could follow. In severe circumstances, we have done seizures. We will seize the animals or animal through a court order or in other circumstances, warrants. With investigations underway all across the low country, Sergeant Poirier says their unit's work is never done. If you suspect any animal mistreatment or cruelty and would like to call for a welfare checkup, you can do so on the non-emergency line unless there is an imminent danger to that animal or an individual. In North Charleston, I'm Kate Prestack. Count on two.